G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to show you how we collect our natural seawater. We're in the big truck, we've got a 7,000 litre water tank on the back, and we're headed down to the Gold Coast for the high tide. So, stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how we collect our natural seawater. So this is the pump that we're going to use and we prime this pump by filling this section with water. Now the hose that we're about to hook up feeds down into the ocean and um, there's going to be a foot valve on the end of the hose down in the water which will actually allow the hose to fill with water so that when we turn the pump on it's primed and it will start to run straight away. So our foot valve's in here, and we use this, it's like a diffuser almost. It stops sand and detritus going into the pump. Um, this is gonna be on the end of the hose. So, let's hook it up. A hose into the ocean. Cam locks on. I'm gonna crawl down the rocks to put the diffuser on. Barefoot, of course. And now, we prime our pump. This is actually RO water. You can use natural seawater if you want, but we've always got RO in drums. Just make sure it's fully primed. Right, put the cap back on. So now, I'm gonna turn the generator on, hook up our outlet hose, and plug it into the generator. A lot of people ask us why we come all the way to the Gold Coast to collect our natural seawater, given that we're so close to the water in Brisbane. Uh, our shop is probably, it's about two or three kilometers from the water's edge, but uh, given the quality of the water down the Gold Coast, it's definitely worth the drive. The water near the shop is uh, a lot more silty, uh, there's more contamination, and the Gold Coast water, it, the best thing about it is that we can come right up to the water's edge, right near the ocean, and our ICP tests that we've done on our source water really back up the purity and the quality of this water. So um, we'll go back and have one more look at what we're doing uh, with the pumping the water, uh, then we'll pack up all our gear and head off. We have about 15 minutes before our water tank is full. So I just wanna talk about the type of pump that I use. A lot of people make the point that we could fill our water tank faster if we used a petrol powered pump. Now, I choose specifically to keep my pump electric. Uh, I like the idea of uh, an electric pump. It, it really means that there's zero chance of contamination with petrol, um, but also just having a generator um, is a handy thing to have. Uh, we've got two or three generators at any given time and they're very handy to have on hand when there's a power outage and clients need a generator to keep their tank running. So uh, I definitely like the way that uh, we have our generator and our electric pump. Um, 6,000, uh, sorry, 1,000 litres every six minutes is certainly fast enough for the purpose of what we do. Uh, and I definitely will be sticking with electric pumps in the future. Our water tank is full, so now all we have to do is pack up all the gear. I'm gonna start by taking the foot valve off the, uh, the 
end of the hose, so that way all the water will purge out. So with any hose that we use, it's always important to purge the water out of it. And um, with these one and a half inch hoses, it's particularly important. Also, we don't want uh, salt water you know, causing any unnecessary rust in the vehicle. So I'm just purging this out. Okay, done. So we've packed up all of our gear, we've filled our water tank with beautiful, crystal clear, natural seawater. Let's get back in the truck and hit the road. So that's how we collect our natural seawater. Uh, it's great to be fully loaded, have heaps of natural seawater for all of our clients. This water is used in some of the best reefer tanks in Queensland. And uh, it's so good to be able to do bulk quantities of natural seawater. It works out significantly better value than artificial salt. And if you're careful with the processes, it can be uh, arguably better than artificial salt. And that's why we are so particular about a lot of the aspects of our salt water collection. Uh, we make sure we hit the high tide well. Uh, we make sure that we're uh, going to spots that we know are going to be the top quality. We do ICP tests on our water. We do uh, regular, every batch is uh, tested for KH phosphate, uh, as well as calcium magnesium. So. This is uh, how we source our natural sea water. It's a very popular system in Australia, um, given our proximity to a good supply of clean natural sea water. Uh, but as far as today's video goes, that's, that's a wrap. Um, thank you so much for watching Gallery Quantica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!